I'm Sean Spencer in Providence, Rhode Island. The unlikely UB men's basketball run comes to an end tonight in the first round of the NCAA tournament. They lose to the Miami Hurricanes 79 to 72. You know, the Bulls were saying all week they were playing with house money as a 14 seed, and they came out of the gates in the first half of this one playing like it. No fear, nothing to lose. They went up by nine points at one time in the first half, but Miami comes back to take a two point lead into the halftime locker room, and they went up by 12. Miami did in the second half, but UB, they claw back and they cut the deficit to within four points with under two minutes to play. However, Miami is able to hang on and get this win here tonight, ending UB's season. Freshman Nick Perkins leads the way for UB, a career high 20 points. Sophomore Lamonte Bearden right behind him. Now, folks, broadcast regulations prevent us from showing highlights at this time, but I was in the post game locker room. I can tell you they were not satisfied at all, but they were were happy with this journey. I just think we gave a good effort. You know, people picked them to beat us by 20. You know, we came out and kept fighting all night long. That's one thing I like about this team. We didn't give up. You know, we played our butts off. You know, our our freshmen they stepped up a lot. You know, picked up slack. You know, for me, Willie. You know, Monte played great. And, you know, it just shows how good you know our team is going to be in the future. And I thought they laid everything out there. I mean, we missed some shots. They got some. Great athletes that made it tough to finish in the lane. They, you know, they blocking shots, but I thought we played hard, which is really all you can ask. We're um, on the map now, and people are going to expect us to be here, so there can't be any let off. And I'm happy to be part of that transition to a known Buffalo team. Like we went back to back, and there's only two teams in Mac history to ever do that. It was certainly an emotional locker room after this one. They end their season with the record of 20 and 15. As for the UB women, they are making their first NCAA tournament trip. They are in Columbus. They open up uh, NCAA tournament play tomorrow and my colleague 7 Eyewitness Sports reporter Nick Filipowski is in Ohio with the team. Well, the UB women have been on an absolute tear, winning eight of their last nine games heading into the NCAA tournament. On the flip side, the Buckeyes of Ohio State have struggled down the stretch, losing three of their last four contests. Now, momentum is huge in the postseason, but history is not on the Bulls' side. No 14 seed has ever won a tournament game. We have nothing to lose. We're, we're first time here. They've been here before. They have a lot of history. 60,000 60, people. It's, we're here in your, in your backyard. I told my guys, just, just go out there and have some fun. I don't think a record like that is reflecting on, you know, what type of good team there are, what type of bad team there are. I think um, they're going to go out and give you everything they got. Out on the West Coast, the 10th seeded St. Bonaventure women practicing ahead of their first round matchup against 7th seeded Oklahoma State. Friday, it's a big day for the Big Four all across Western New York, and we'll have you covered right here all day long on 7 AB. For Sean Stepner in Providence, Rhode Island, reporting from Columbus, Ohio, Nick Filipowski, 7 Eyewitness News.